I'm uh, Ethan Berger, and I am here uh, at the Zurich Film Festival with uh, a movie called The Line that I wrote and directed. The movie is about um, a kid who he kind of idealizes his fraternity as the family he's always wanted. And when his roommate becomes obsessed with a pledge who won't conform, uh, he kind of, um, you know, gets caught in the middle. And it's it's about fraternities. It's about it's a personal like story about a kid whose sense of loyalty and morality are at odds. And it's, you know, I think we're trying to make some larger points just about uh, uh, the country in general and how we kind of value institutions and tradition uh, over the lives of our neighbors. I was I, I was in a society and I lived next to a fraternity that uh, that actually played the song "I'm Blue" for all the uh, pledges on repeat, like we do in the movie. So I definitely drew inspiration from that. I feel like eighteen-year-olds are impressionable and they want to fit in, and like, and I feel like. Sc- schools in some ways are like kind of setting them up to fail because I feel like a lot of societal issues are born in fraternities. Um, I think that they're segregated and I think that, um, you know, people go into them because they kind of see a mirror of themselves or who they want to become. And that's not necessarily the best thing for you. Um, on the flip side, like I can understand why somebody would join because they're the ep- epicenter of social life on like American campuses, and eighteen-year-olds want to have friends and are lonely and trying to figure themselves out. And um, and I think that like uh, I guess another point we're just trying to make is that is that just because you're traumatized doesn't give you the right to inflict trauma on others. I think that like oftentimes like men and this isn't limited to the US like uh define like masculinity by how much trauma you can endure and it's like why so like ultimately I feel like what we're trying to do is just trying to say that just because something is a tradition doesn't mean that we shouldn't examine it um and I think that that's like a big you know we want we want people to come away like thinking about whether this is good for college age kids. I wrote the first draft in 2012. So just like sticking with it and figuring out like uh, how to just keep telling myself that we could ultimately make it. Um, And then like kind of like uh, also just like making sure that I wasn't, I don't know, a lot of times people just told me, you know, it hasn't happened just put it in a a shelf and walk away and move on and we kept rewriting it and I think just like I don't know the the pushing myself to to keep going and then on set we we dealt with COVID and you know you want to make it authentic and have have it populated with kids but uh uh you know there are health concerns and actors who who you have to protect and uh i don't know it was it was a very difficult experience so uh but it was so fulfilling and gratifying to get an opportunity to like do what i've always wanted to do my producer like took me into a bunch of agencies and they gave me an opportunity to like to like you know send the script out to a bunch of people and see who responded and i took every meeting with every actor and then the ones who were who felt most passionate about it decided to do it. And um, it was just an incredible environment where, you know, uh, they were pushing each other to not only like uh, uh, give their best on screen, but off screen, which I loved because ultimately I feel like if you're not giving it to the actor on screen, off screen, you're not giving them enough to work with. And uh, I don't know, it was just a really like beautiful, like creative experience. Um, and they're phenomenal actors, uh, all of them. I just like grew up idolizing like European filmmakers, like Amadovar in Spain, or like Louis Mal, or you know, I'm a big fan of like Celine Sciamma and like uh, Mike Lee. And I don't, I just to be in Europe and get an opportunity, 
and see this beautiful like country is just amazing. And so I'm, I'm thrilled. Yeah.